guys, Melissa Vincent here. Um, today, I am actually going to make one of my favorite dishes. It's a paleo chili. That's my son and my dog. Um, I know that it's like 100 degrees outside, but I had chili the other day and it was absolutely amazing. And so I had to share it with you guys of my recipe. It's pretty phenomenal. Uh, so with paleo, obviously there's no dairy and no grain. So we're going to focus on 100% grass uh, fed beef if you can, or any type of beef is fine. Um, no beans. And um, we're going to have lots of vegetables in it. Really, really good stuff. I'm a person who loves flavor. So I'm going to have a lot of onions, a lot of garlic, a lot of good stuff. So follow me. Okay. So what I did first was I ground my beef. And I made both of these, some onions. I simmered some onions in some olive oil and minced garlic. So you're just gonna put it in your crock pot here. So scoop, scoop, scoop. Okay, and you're gonna wanna turn this on low because this is gonna be something that you're gonna be simmering all day. So I'll go ahead and put it on eight hours just for right now. So then you'll put your beef down at the bottom. So I went ahead and drained mine because I don't like all the, there's not much grease to it. But if you do have a lot of grease to it, yeah, make sure you drain this because otherwise it'll be not tasting so hot. So go ahead and mix that up a little bit. You guys see? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, so you'll go ahead and get some uh, tomato sauce. You'll want the 15 ounces of tomato sauce. And then diced tomatoes, 14 ounces as well. Behave, Sterling. And then you'll want your, this, this is real life, people. Um, 28 ounces of your tomato, um, the whole peeled tomatoes. So, I'll go ahead and actually put in, let's see. This will be, yeah, okay. So I'll go ahead and put a little bit of this in there. You want it to be kind of chunky. And you can slice that up if you want, or you can do the actual whole tomatoes in there, whatever you prefer. I wash my hands, obviously, before I do all this stuff. I just kind of mince mine in there. Or you can go ahead and um, go ahead and do it on your cutting board, whichever you prefer. So then, um, what I did was prep this. You can always prep this. I know uh, this one's a little bit more time consuming, but I do love it, so that's what I want to share it with you guys. But you can always prep the night before, cut up your sweet potatoes, cut up your carrots, cut up your celery, cut up all of your vegetables that you want for it. Put it in a Tupperware and put it in the refrigerator. And in the morning when you're making your breakfast, you can even do your ground beef too. That's totally fine. And your onions for that matter. So you can put everything in a Tupperware the night before. It probably took me about 25 minutes to prep all of the food to cut everything up. Just throw it in a Tupperware, throw it in the refrigerator the night before, and in the morning, if you're in a hurry, throw everything in your crock pot, mix it all around, set it on anywhere from six to eight hours, and let it simmer all day, and you're golden. So, um, what you'll need is, um, I cut up all of my, I did sweet potatoes in mine, so you can have sweet potatoes with paleo. So I have sweet potatoes, I have carrots, I have celery, I have uh, red potato, or I'm um, sorry, um, red pepper, green pepper, a little bit of jalapeno, um, and then this is more of my sweet potatoes, I have even more. So I'm going to go ahead and put more of my sweet potatoes in here. I'll probably have enough to make two batches, so I'll probably set this aside. And then I'll take a little bit of my sauce, because you'll want it to get a little bit mix it all around a little bit so it's not so all vegetable-y right now. So I would say maybe use even half of that. If you have another crock pot, go ahead and make a whole nother batch. You might as well because that would be some phenomenal leftovers for everybody. Okay, so then I'm going to do a little bit more diced tomatoes in here. They're silly. Silly kiddos. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do... <laughs> I'm gonna probably go in and do like half of that. Just making a game out of everything, right? Okay. So go ahead and mix this up and I'll go ahead and add more sauce. Add a little bit more. So it depends on how thick 
you want your uh, chili to be. You know, if you want it more meaty and you want it more vegetable-y, don't put as much sauce in there. You know, if you want it a little bit more uh, broth, kind of soupy texture, you'll put a little bit more in there. So I'm going to add sea salt. Starling, settle down, please. And then pepper. And then you'll want uh, crushed red pepper. And I always say, I don't ever really measure anything out. That's up to your discretion. You know, I like things with a lot of flavor, so I tend to use a little bit more. Um, cayenne pepper, you don't want to go minimal on this. You don't want to go too, too much. Because it can get real spicy real quick, and unfortunately, you can't take it out of there. So, chili powder, kind of minimal on this, too. And then you can, because you, can, you can't ever take it out, but you could always put more in. So, whole oregano. I usually use fresh for this, but we're winging it today. Ooh, it's gonna make mama sneeze. Ooh, basil leaves. Sorry, ooh, I think a sneeze is coming on. Okay, onion powder. You got onion in there, so you don't need too, too much. I know, Drakey. And then ground cumin. This is my daily life, people. Isn't it exciting? Okay. So, oh, but hey, Sterling, please be nice to him. Sterling, can you please give him his sassy? <laughs> oh, this video is going so well. Da, 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 da. Stay at home, mamahood. It's exciting. You gotta love it. Yeah? And your cow Oh, you got your moo cow? Okay. So stir this up as much as you possibly can. You want all your ingredients. Thank you, sir. You want all of your ingredients throughout the whole entire crock pot to be stirred up. 